Hello, this is Matthew Mead, and in this video, I will show you how you can raise an alarm when a person or a vehicle is detected loitering in an area. To do this, we use the time in area function within the Axis Object Analytics app. A zone can be configured, and when a vehicle or person is detected in that zone, and the pre-configured time expires, an alarm can be generated. The time in area function can be used in security applications, but it can also be used to ensure the smooth operation of your site by highlighting if a vehicle is obstructing an exit or parked in a similar unauthorized area. So how do we achieve this? First, connect to your camera's web interface and select apps and select the Axis Object Analytics app. Next, start the app and select Open to configure it. Next, we create a new scenario. Here, we will create a vehicle scenario. So we select Vehicles and Object in Area. The next step is to define the area and to set the time in Time in Area. This can be configured for a maximum of 7,200 seconds or two hours. However, you must take into consideration the camera's position and the objects you are detecting. If an object is obscured during the time, then the measured time may be reset, which could result in an alarm not being triggered correctly. Once the configuration is complete, you will see detection boxes around the object and a timer at the bottom of the object. We can also configure advanced settings, such as enabling an overlay. We can also display trajectories of the objects. We also have the option of configuring perspective, which can reduce false alarms. The next step is to create an action rule to generate the alert. We select device event and we find the loitering scenario we have just created. The next step is to create an alarm message that will be displayed to the operator of Axis Camera Station when an alarm has been generated. Here we can see a car has entered the zone and the timer starts. When the timer is expired, an alarm message is displayed to the operator. Here is another example. And in this example, we have created two different scenarios. It is worth noting that we can create 10 different scenarios per camera. On the left, we have a security application where we are detecting a human within a designated area. And on the right hand side, a more operational scenario where an alarm is generated when a vehicle is detected. I hope you have found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.